Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to have a look at how I print the landscape models and the orientation for the models and how I prepare the models for print. So let's have a look after the intro. So often when I showcase my landscape prints and, and put the videos out or, or pictures of them on Twitter, I get asked the question on how I prepare the model for printing and how I can get the landscape model so smooth with the surface. And if I do sanding on the model or, or what do I do to get the surface finish really smooth. And I want to show you how I print the models. I've done a video in the past showing how I prepare the STL files for printing and this is maybe a recap of the final part of that, the printing itself. So I want to show you show you how I do it. So if we start with the slicer, I have loaded up the model I have. This is just a sample piece of a mountain. And here's the same model loaded twice. It's the same STL. And in this orientation I have sliced the model with the same settings as this one so here's just the model and when you look at the model like this you can see the detail in the model and it's really high detail and here's actually some defects in the model but don't mind that but you can see the the, the mountainside and the creeks that go down here and this is a lake and you can see a lot of detail and if we switch over to the sliced version, uh, then I have the piece that is laying down, like flat on the bed. And here you can see the the layer lines, and each layer is, is building up. So th this is somewhat like uh, contour lines in a, in a normal map. So it kind of looks cool, but uh, the detail, if you have a look at some areas here, you can see uh, in comparison the detail you can get in this model where I have oriented the, the print. Uh, so it's over here, here you can see a lot more detail in the, in the side than you can get in, in this model here. So just because of the layer height I print at 0.2mm layer height that's the resolution I get, but here on the, the vertical side I get much more resolution. Um, this is the reason how, why I do it like this. I, I get more resolutions of the print and a much smoother print. But let's have a look at a close-up of a print so I can show you the final result. So here I have uh, the first print. This is printed on the bed like this. So here you can see the, the layer lines on how the model is built up. Um, it looks cool, but <laughs> like here it looks really cool, but it's not the, the surface finish I'm looking for because I want a more smooth surface finish. So if we compare this to the one that is printed in a upright orientation, you can see how much more detail I can get here in the in the sides. Um, if we compare them side by side, it's maybe difficult to line them up properly. But you can see there is much more detail in the in the print with this one, and and also beside the detail itself, it's much smoother. And um, that's uh, the main thing. The, the surface is, is really smooth and I don't have to sand this model. If I would want to paint this and, and get this smooth, I would have to sand this a lot. But printing like this, I both get more detail and a smooth surface. So there's only like when I have defects like this one, I have to cut down. And sometimes I do that and sometimes I just leave it in if they're small, but this one is fairly large. So sometimes I, and like this one, I, I use my pliers to, to cut it away. Um, but that's really the only post-processing I have to do on the model. Um, you can see the, the side and like here on the water, it's really smooth. But here's the, the other one, has a lot of issues 
This is just due to the surface of the water was not uh, entirely clean surface. This part was more clean, but uh, this is the, the comparison between the, the two models. And if you look at this area here, where it's relatively flat area, and I'm trying to have the light so you can see the, the ley lines clearly, and then compare to this one. It's much more smoother, and there's no need to, to sand this, I can just paint straight away on it. So I hope this video gives you some idea on how I prepare the models and, and why I do it like this. Uh, the only problem with uh, printing the model upright like this, if, if it's a really thin model, I have to print it with a white brim on the bottom side so the model won't uh, get loose of the bed sometimes the the print area is maybe half a centimeter at the bottom and then i use uh, around two centimeter white brim to get it really stuck to the bed uh, that's the only thing that i have to take care of is to print rather slow because of the, when when i'm printing a big landscape and you see one here behind me um, normally when I, I print a big model I have to print really slowly because the, the bed is moving and I don't want the vibrations of the bed so that's uh, maybe only down, downside I have to print slower but I get so much more detail printing the way I do I really want to keep doing that and that's the way I, I found to be most successful and I don't really like sanding so <laughs> I want to try to do minimal post-processing before I do the painting so so that's it but this will be it for this video if you have any questions leave a comment and, and subscribe and like and, and share and all that and if you have some landscape prints that you printed please tweet it out to me and, and tag me with your photos so for now this will be it for this video so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time